Thank you everyone for uh, joining our boot camp today. And I'm gonna start with a video, which I actually don't have queued up yet, but it's gonna help, <laughs> it's gonna help us get in our heads. How- I'm blaming on Anthony, he distracted us. How difficult sometimes it can be to build a business. So let me put it in YouTube. Now we can talk about the video afterwards. Hello there. Oops. I heard it, but I didn't see it. It's garbage. I'm not sure. Simply ask your brain. Research proves that a lack of sleep lowers brain. Skip ads. Oh, it's not. And now, and we, now don't we don't hear it. it. Audio. Come on. Audio. Share computer sound. It said. We heard the ad. Um, Let's start. Rock. Well, not if I know we could beat him. That was good. Come here, Brock. This is good, care. Fanny. You're going to like this one. What, am I in trouble now? Not yet. I want to see you do the death crawl again, except I want to see your absolute best. <laughs> <laughs> what, you want me to go to the 30? I think you can go to the 50. <laughs> 50? I can go to the 50 if nobody's on my back. I think you can do it with Jeremy on your back. But even if you can, I want you to promise me you're going to do your best. All right. Your best. OK. You going to give me your best? I'm going to give you my best. All right, one more thing. I want you to do it blindfolded. Why? Because I want you giving up at a certain point when you can go further. Get down. Jeremy, get on his back. <laughs> I get a good tight hold, Jeremy. All right, let's go, Brock. Keep your knees off the ground, just your hands and feet. There you go. A little bit left. A little bit left. There you go. Show me good effort. Keep moving, Brock. That's it. That's it. That's it. Keep going. I want everything you got. Come on, keep going. It hurts. Don't quit on me. Your very best. Keep driving. Keep driving. There you go. There you go. He's heavy. I know he's heavy. I'm out of strength. Then you negotiate with your body to find more strength, but don't you give up on me, Brock. You keep going, you hear me? You keep going. You're doing good. You keep going. Do not quit on me. You keep going. It hurts. I know it hurts. You keep going. You keep going. It's all hard from here. 30 more steps. You keep going, Brock. Come on. Keep going. It burns. And let it burn. It burns and burns. It's all hard. You keep going, Brock. Come on. Come on. Keep going. You promised me your best. Awesome. This is your brain when you sleep oh. on a regular mattress. Mm. Turn it off. Yeah. yeah. Followed by the mattress. No. Right, so the <laughs> is, is that you on your workout every day, Vanny? <laughs> <laughs> so, does anyone feel like building their business? Like, <laughs> it hurts. After, after <laughs> stuff you take, you're like, I'm done. <laughs> every day. <laughs> so. In order to, you know, in order to get him to get past that, he had to listen to his coach's voice, right? He had to listen. And for us, that's our system. The more that we dig into our system, um, we leverage our corporate calls. We leverage these calls. We make sure that other people are here. Um, and then he also, 
you know, he blindfolded him so that he would just go as far as you can. Like, don't even worry about a so line. Yeah, so you don't listen to your inner voice. Yeah. So you can set the goals that are outside. Yeah, that's awesome. Wow, yeah. Yeah, so that's what we got to do. And I know for me, definitely getting to silver, that's how it felt. <laughs> like, it would be like, oh, I'm silver, I'm not. I'm silver, I'm not. I'm silver. Why can't I just stay here so that I can get to silver retreat? Like, that is without a doubt how it felt to get to silver. And that's how it felt. That's how it feels to get to bridge the gold. Like, I've been so close. And I'm still not going to hit it this month. But it's like, this this side of is, is all good. But then the stuff over here is not all good. But at the end of the day, though, like when I was meeting with Matt earlier today, we still had 22 rank ups on this or 22 new members on the team. Like we have been oh. adding since March, we have been adding 20 new members to the team every single month. We still had seven rank ups. So mm -hmm. like Halloween had a few on one of her other legs that um, we don't see a lot of them most of the time. And we had a class last week where 60 people showed up. Get out of town. Like, just to hear the information that we were sharing, we had 60 people that came to a class. Um, and then we have diamonds that want our information. Like, we were going over the Google Doc in my mastermind, and Shannon is like, this is something everybody needs to use. Like, I'm going to throw this in the diamond chat. I'm going to share this with other diamonds. And then um, after our home-based business class, she asked me for that presentation, too. She's going to put that presentation on her website. So, like, I mean, we, ha we are producing high-quality information that other teams, including Diamonds, want to hear. So you just got to focus on, on that stuff. And, again, um, like, for Renee that just joined the call, August tends to be a low month. Like, yes, it would be, more, it would be so much better if we weren't the normal, if we weren't the average, but – the reality is, it's look at where your August was last year. If you're, if you're doing better than your August was last year, and then look at what your trend should be, because that's what we did, okay, what okay. I did today. You know, my, my trend is, is always year after year that I dip down in August, and then I start to go back up, and then I have a, a, a pretty big spike in October because they have lots of sales and stuff like that. And, and the reality is October, November, and December are the highest months in Young Living always. And they're probably going to be even higher because we're still in this situation with stuff circling the planet. And now we're going to have what everybody calls flu season coming on. And we have the solutions to that. And so if we can just keep on walking through that pain like we saw in that video, <laughs> October and November and December will probably be a lot easier. It probably will. You probably will have a lot of people as long as you are consistent in posting and consistent on inviting people to classes and consistent on talking about thieves and things like that. October, November, December will probably be a lot easier. Well, so then, <laughs> going, yeah, just got to make it through. Going to... So the videos that we had to watch were, um, one was The Perfect Business by Robert Kiyosaki. Mm -hmm. And that goes over the cash flow quadrant. And really guys, you tomorrow make it a point to watch those videos because this part of mindset helps us understand why network marketing is a legit business. So in order to be successful in the business, you have to increase your belief and you have to have belief first in the products. And that's usually super, super easy. Most people have belief in the products within a week. We become addicted to the products. Yeah, this is- this Beyond is that, you need to have belief in yourself. So belief in yourself comes from making sure that you do self-development, making sure that you do affirmations. But one thing that is super important is, is that you have to have belief in the business. Like when someone says something to you, like you're doing one of those things or, you know, it's a pyramid scheme or whatever, 
people tend to start shrinking back because you haven't educated yourself on the business. And so the two videos that we had scheduled to watch for this week talks about that. The first video is um, Robert Kiyosaki's cash flow quadrant or the perfect business. And he talks about the cash flow quadrant in that. And the cash flow quadrant is most of us are taught to be employees. And employees have no leverage. They only own 5% of the wealth. And you get paid for the amount of time that you spend. And then you can also be self-employed. Self-employed is a doctor, a lawyer, a hairstylist, where you have a little bit more control over your time, but you still have no leverage. And the, you still are trading time for money. And then on the other side of the cash flow quadrant, you have a B-type business owner. And that is where you have leverage, you use a system, and your income eventually does not depend on your active work. So these are the individuals that are the owners and investors of a large companies, like the one I work for, General Motors, as well as franchises like McDonald's, as well as online franchises, which network marketing is a portion of. So, and then the last one is investor. And usually people, people will get into investing after they generate income from, from a business. And Robert Kiyosaki has nothing to do with network marketing. He just investigated it and sees that it, it trains you to be an entrepreneur and it's a great way to get your time freedom and to develop that income so that you can become an investor. So that's what the first video is about. So again, if you haven't watched that, definitely make sure as soon as we turn this off that you take a look at that. And so in the event, this video does exist with subtitles in Spanish, which makes it really cool. Yeah, that's the one I watched. That third video didn't work. I was gonna go back in and check the other postings and see if the other link worked. And oh, one was just a, a sheet, but I can show that. I can show the sheet. Oh, okay, because that that must be the one that didn't come up then, because I was looking yeah, at that. Yeah, probably didn't videos. because it was, it's it's technically inside of Vital One Eighty, so it might not have came oh, up I because it said YouTube. I don't remember now. Or maybe there was a third one in English by itself. I'll have to check, but yeah, because it says YouTube and Entrepreneur by Eric Worre. Okay, because I because I pulled up both of the Spanish ones to watch them, so but I'll check. So I don't know if anybody else wants to share anything about the cash flow quadrant or, I mean, that have read Robert Kiyosaki in the past or anything of that nature. Yeah, I haven't read him. I watched it, but I forgot to take notes. So there so, it is. I'm sorry. Really, really briefly, I want to share uh, just some thoughts on that. If you have not watched or read the book, uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, or Cash Flow Quadrant. Um, I highly recommend that for anybody that is uh, in this business. And the reason I, I recommend it is because Cash Flow Quadrant is probably one of the first books that I ever read when I first joined network marketing almost, oh wow, it's been like 15 years ago. And um, one of the things that I appreciated about that book is it helps you to understand that, that one, quadrant is not necessarily better than the other, but it's more about understanding where you are in the quadrant and where you want to be. So like, for example, like uh, you can literally work with people that are content on being an employee, but sometimes in their mind, they may also feel like um, I'm going to be rich being an employee or I'll be wealthy being an employee. Well, when you read the book and you understand how the employee, uh, like what's available to the employee in that quadrant, the two you really don't go hand in hand. So I know for me, that was like a long time ago. Uh, it helped me to understand where I needed to be if I wanted to have certain things financially. And so when you look at that quadrant, I think it's uh, employee and self-employed are on the left. They call it linear income. Mm -hmm. Um, on the right is the uh, business owner and the investor, which is passive, which is where obviously if you're on this call, you most likely want to be. 
So you have to look at that and develop those skills to uh, that build bridges to, that allow you to cross into different quadrants. So network marketing, um, one of the reasons Robert T. Kiyosaki has embraced the idea of network marketing is because it's that bridge for our, for the employee or the self-employed person to get to the business owner quadrant. I mean, most of us probably uh, don't have the necessary funds to, to go out and buy like a Fortune 500 company and, and run that and make money, nor do we probably have the skill set. So network marketing allows you to, number one, uh, start your own business for a low cost, which now puts you in that quadrant. But the skill set is even more important. Because if you don't have the skill set, it doesn't matter if somebody handed you a Fortune 500 company. If you don't know how to run it, it's going to run right into the ground and you'll be back to where you started. So it's the same thing with network marketing. Then it's a bridge that can help you to cross over. Um, I, I've even been able to cross into the investor uh, section of the cash flow quadrant. But it's a bridge that helps you to cross over. You, but you have to develop those skills to be able to make it work if you want to stay on that side. So I, I really, I highly recommend that book or in, and watch those videos uh, if you haven't, because it, you, it really helps you to understand what changes you need to make to be able to be where you want to be in, the, in those different quadrants. Any other comments? All right, I'm putting the video in the chat. That's the just the normal one. It doesn't have subtitles for anyone that missed it, but you should also have it in your Facebook Messenger. So then the other video to watch, which is an hour long documentary, was The Rise of the Entrepreneur. So I'm actually, what do you call this thing? Trailer, <laughs> that's what it's called. Yeah, I think this is the one that didn't. The world is changing faster than ever. What used to take decades is now taking years or even months. What you see right now is the illusion that people have had for many decades about the workplace being the secure place to, to work the rest of your life. For the first time in the history of our nation, our children will not do as well as us. We've seen our friends get laid off. We've been laid off. We've had our pay cut. People are overworked and underpaid. They seem to have less time and less freedom. They live under constant pressure. This is going to be forced. And so even if your employer loves you, you may, they may have to cut you. There's something wrong that on Monday morning, the heart attack rate increases by 35%. Technology is accelerating. Job security is declining. It just doesn't seem like the old models of making a living are as reliable as they used to be. Every aspect of our lives, there's a better way out there, but we're still doing it the old way. We live in the greatest country on the planet, and there are a lot of people sitting around complaining and being cynical. Like Everyone's whining about this old model, and I'm like, why don't you leave it? Look at all this over here. Look at all this opportunity. Since so much of our lives revolve around our work and the way we make our living, many people are thinking, there just has to be a better way. The biggest challenge facing our world today is not making money, is what are we gonna do with all the displaced unemployed people? People are afraid that they're gonna make the wrong decision. People are afraid of the unknown. People are afraid that maybe I don't have the skills. Hey, sports fans. Industrial age is over, it's dead, it's dying. That's why going to school to get a job is an obsolete idea. A steady paycheck is an industrial age idea. So that is the movie Rise of an Entrepreneur. Again, it's, it's free on YouTube and it's available 
with subtitles on YouTube. So um, he goes into, and it was created in 2014. So he really goes over a lot of the stuff that we go in our home-based business class, right? But he has an actual experts that have done the research on there, right? So he has different entrepreneurs, business owners, business analysts, um, people like Robert Kiyosaki, people like Les Brown that advocate for the network marketing industry and speak at it. And probably 80% of people on that movie didn't make their income from network marketing. They've just observed it, studied it, and seen it as one of the many ways to have multiple streams of income. So one of the things that he goes over is the extreme amount of, especially in the United States, educational debt and how that's a burden for people to get ahead. Um, and then again, he go, there's statistics on the direct selling industry. How much is it really making? How much does it compare to other industries? Like he talks about how the comparison of that, he talks about um, it's just some of the myths, right? What do people think? And, and, and Eric Worre isn't the one that's, he's like interviewing these people. The rest of the individuals like Les Brown and Robert Kiyosaki are answering the questions. So again, as far as mindset, it is just super important to watch that, that video more than once because getting that information from experts and business analysts gives you the personal confidence that this is a legit business. This is something that's viable. This is something that people are making money from. And so when someone wants to say something to you, you now have that confidence. Again, like we talked about in the beginning, the way that you're gonna be successful is if you first have belief and confidence in the products. And again, that's usually easy. <laughs> Most of us have a story within one to two weeks and we're like, I love Young Living. Everybody needs this. I'm good. But then we don't necessarily have belief in ourselves. Like we try to tell our story to somebody and then we're like, they didn't believe it like I did. And we shrink back. So that's where your personal self-development plan, what your affirmations, reviewing your goals, knowing your why, all of that stuff is your belief in yourself. If you feel like you don't have enough belief in yourself, there's the belief questionnaire that we had and then try to work on some of those things. And then last, you have to have belief in this industry. You have to have belief in the business model. If you don't have belief in the business model, you will be ashamed of doing it and you will hide it. Or when somebody says something negative, you'll say, yeah, isn't that right? People, people at the top make all the money, like they addressed that in the video. So that's why it's important to watch that video more than once, so. I don't know, Anthony, if you wanna add anything on that. Um, yeah, uh, to a certain extent, to, I, I like to say that, that sometimes we get the mindset of we want to combat and try to convince people um, you, you have to build belief in what you have because at the end of the day, what you have works. And so, um, th those statistics that are in the, that video and what they talk about, um, uh, that will help in some aspects. Like if you're one of those people that are on the fence of do these things work? Well, they absolutely do. There's a reason why, um, they're highly praised in some avenues, uh, it's just, it seems like the majority of people that don't believe in the concept of network marketing is just because they didn't work it enough for it to work for them. Or they quit before they, um, what they saw as success, before they reached what they saw as success. And so um, those are two excellent videos. I, I believe last time I watched that one, uh, Rise of the Entrepreneur, like like we, we, were, we were having a shift like almost 15 years ago. I mean, you look at things like the internet and e-commerce um, and, and believing that the industrial age is just over, like those jobs that we have, they can get rid of you tomorrow. Um, society now is, is starting to move more towards a, a place where you have to take your finances into your own hands. Uh, I, I know it's been said for years that social security may not be there by the time I'm of retirement age. Uh, so I think my generation, we, we get it a little bit quicker just because we've been told that for uh, some time. 
Um, but there's really a, a mental shift when we look at how we make money. Uh, because when you look at something like Young Living in comparison to what they're talking about in that video, like Young Living offers all of that. Uh, it's a network marketing model, tried and tested. Um, E-commerce. So, I mean, if you look on this call, uh, I forget where Fanny's from, but, but Carrie's in Ecuador. You're running a business in Ecuador with people that, are, that probably don't all live in Ecuador, right? When, when in any way, shape or form could you have said that I would have been able to do that? Exactly. So we're seeing that shift um, and it's time to take advantage of that. You know, Young Living's done all the hard work. Like they've done all of the regulatory work. They have the shipping in place. They have the, the website. Um, Dana and I have been trying to work on our uh, personal branded website for like the past year and a half. It's a lot of work. Young Living has already done that for you. Uh, so you're in good hands. It's just a matter of applying um, the skill set that you have and growing and developing to really take advantage of. It. Yeah, Indonesia. Okay. So yeah, Fanny's from Indonesia. I mean, think about that. That's, that's crazy. The fact that we can do from Venezuela, Venezuela and he's in Peru right now. Yeah. I mean, we're connected all on this call, like, um, and with with something like Young Living, because it's all online, you don't have to store product, you don't have to do any of that. You know, so all we're doing is, is we're referring people to where the, we're giving them a resource where they can get the things that they may want slash need. You just gotta find the right people. Thank you, thank you. And then there was one in this belief section. Again, this is all coming from Vital 180. Um, and in the belief section, there was just um, this little document that reminds us of, there's this, just this little scenario. So um, it states, many of us came into Young Living as, a health, as healthcare practitioners and educators, and at some point realized that we can also have a substantial business through sharing the wonderful oils and oil-enhanced products. And so it just reminds us like what we're actually trying to do is to not just enroll two people and grow our business, but we wanna enroll two people and then teach those people to enroll two people so that we are doing our business in a duplicable way. And so it runs you through this actual scenario of if you had a perfect world <laughs> and you enrolled two people every month and they enrolled two people every single month, it would give you geometric progression to grow your business. Now, no one's ever going to have that happen, but it's just a reminder of what you're supposed to be doing and the importance of always re trying to reach level up or double up every month. Without a doubt, you have to set the example. But also, are you making sure all of your team members are on the calls? So if you have anybody on your team that says, I want to get their, my oils paid for, are they on this boot camp call so they can get their oils paid for? And if you have people that need to be educated, are they on our weekly calls? So if you have anyone on your team that's a zero, that's not ordering, that means you need to go back to their wellness consultation and make sure that they understand all the things that we have that will meet those needs. If you have people on your team that are spending less than 100, you need to make sure that they're at classes so that they understand all of our product lines because people that are spending less than 100 are only buying oils. They're not buying toothpaste. They're not buying shampoo. They're not buying the best energy drinks in the world. They're not buying our protein shakes. Young Living literally has everything out there and they should be grocery shopping from their own list first, their own business. So this is how it's supposed to work. It's not when people look at how many people you need on your team to reach a certain rank, right? Like I now have 320 people on my team, but I didn't find all 320 of those people. I generally sign up about two people a month. That's, that's what I do. I'm, I've never, ever in five years signed up 10 people in one month. 
I'm just, that's not me. I'm not a high enroller. I've signed up like five or six in one month, but I've never signed up 10 people in one month. I generally sign up about two people per month, but I have 320 people on my team because all of you guys are on this call and you guys want to share. So if you want to grow your team, how many people next week are you going to bring to this call where they learn how to share? And if you want your OGV to can to get higher and definitely secure your next rank without falling back how many people are going to be on our next educational event i, I just really uh quickly want to add um sashina maybe you would know on, on one of the income disclosures um does it say what the average team size is for each rank there was some document that says what the average team size. So in vital in vital one eighty, it shows that I can pull that up. Um, so one of the things, because Adam Green talks about this, and, and I don't know if, if any of you are familiar with who Adam Green is, but uh, he's a young man, uh, and he's Royal Crown Diamond, right? It, or at least Crown Diamond uh, within Young Living. So he's a small. <laughs> Part of a he's a he's a niche within the market, um, but he talks about why duplication is so important because if you saw on that sheet, um, I, I think at one point we probably looked at that sheet and we were like, I would be glad to have 24 new people on my team, but we missed the point of how this works. Um, when I uh, when I enroll or sign someone up, one of the first things that I do in one of the welcome emails is I put their referral uh, number in that ID. I say, here is your referral number. Let's get your mom, your sister, your dad, your cousin, whoever. Uh, if they're interested in getting oils, give them this referral number. When they get their kit with this referral number, Young Living will give you a $50 thank you. And, and they'll uh, be taken care of by our team and you. Like, like we normalize that part of it, but it's the duplication that's going to get you where you need to be. Um, I, I will say that I've watched, uh, like I watched Dana, I think one month had enrolled like 10 or 12 people. Uh, it wore her out. One of the people on our team, Jocelyn, uh, enrolled 17 or 18 people in one month. It wore her out. Um, and you start to worry after you enroll that many people in one month. It's great when you do, but when you enroll that many people in one month, it's just you. And so then your, your team never progresses past you because you become the exception and not the rule. So the rule is I enroll two people every single month and I help and assist those people to normalize sharing so that I get duplication within my organization. And that's what's going to help you rank up. Therefore, it doesn't have to be, um, you know, do you want to do this business with me? If you can get each person to enroll two people, let's say they enroll two people or they get their kit paid for and that's all they want to do. Great. Now you have two, three people to work with for duplication purposes. Um, that's what we need to normalize. I, I think sometimes we, we try to take everybody that we enroll and we want to turn them into a business builder. But remember that 94% of our company is made up of product users. So we just want them using the product. If they choose to share with individuals, that's great. Uh, if not, if we ask for a referral, that's a way of duplicating as well. So um, if you feel stuck in any way, shape, or form, and you feel like you're not growing fast enough, it may be because you're doing too much of the work yourself without encouraging duplication. Hey, hey, how's everybody doing? I think my wife forgot I was on the call. <laughs> Alrighty, so um, when you're doing your modules in Vital 180, at the very top, it tells you what you need. So, um, Alicia, Victor, Fanny, you guys are going for star. So this is what your goal is to get five to 10 people on your team. You're gonna spend your 100 PV. And then usually you can do that by working five hours a week. Your total group, what you order plus what everybody else on your team orders has to be at 500 and you get an average monthly income of $73.
and then senior star. So Renee, this is your next goal. And actually Victor said he wants to get senior star as soon as possible. So the average amount of people that you need on your team is 35 to 50. Okay, Fanny, you have a question? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. it's not, um, it's kind of outside the subject tonight, but um, I just wonder like how kind of stuck in my head, like if, like if my uh, friend circle or people that I know is just in that circle and like, you know, is yep. like, because like, like today I'm trying to like make a list about, okay, who is I'm going to invite? Hold on a second, sorry. Um, thinking about, you know, who next, who, you know, who's person that I haven't talked to or invite. And I'm just stuck because like, you know, it's just like, I don't know anybody else. Look, so how to expand on. Yep. So there's a tool in Vital 180 and Carrie can definitely walk you through that. There's a tool okay. in Vital 180 of a, it's a thought jogger for your names list. Okay. Yep. Sounds good. Okay. So then for a senior star, you need 35 to 50 people on your team. So again, when you're star, you made sure that you got 10 people on your team. So the way that you get senior star is you help four of those people hit star and you get a few other people on your team to just share and get their two people. And that's how you reach the 35 to 50 people. You don't personally go out and get 35 to 50 people. As a star, you work with the team that you have you go get two new people that month, definitely, but you work with the team that you have to help them. You say, hey, who on my team wants to get their oils paid for? And you help create four stars, and you get a couple other people sharing. So you're gonna spend your 100 PV. Your total group, what you order plus what everyone else orders is 2,000 in organizational group volume. You spend about seven hours a week to get that and you make on average 261 per month, which is pretty much enough to cover a 300 PV order, which is how you get all the promos and how you can make sure you can get your toothpaste and all the other stuff. And then executive, which this is Carrie's goal and Anthony's goal currently. So for this, you need about 95 to 250 people on your team. The reason why there's such a range is because some of the people on your team are zeros. So we already talked about that, right? If you have too many zeros on your team, you're gonna need more people. And how we get those zeros away is, is connecting them to their wellness consultations. We pull out their wellness consultation, we make sure we find a need, we connect that to a product and we get a sale. So if we, you can minimize the zeros, you can do it with 95 people. And I'm fairly certain that Dana probably has a little bit more than 95 people on her team. And then again, how do you get executive? How many does she have? 140. 140, okay. Um, so how do you get executive? You help two people get senior star. That's how you get to executive. So you have, you find two people that are willing to run with you on your team to get senior star and they help people on their team. They're going to each help four people reach star. And then you continue to every month add your two new people and you normalize everyone getting a small little check to pay for a hundred PV order and you get some other people sharing. So with that, I mean, executive is where it's a game changer, guys. Like you make on average 617 a month. You get a, a, um, an exclusive leadership line. You can pay for that 300 PV order. Plus you have extra to start paying down your debt or to help other people with. So, I mean, our goal is always for whomever is interested to try to get you the executive in three months as soon as possible, but that does require 
bringing people to classes and working and making sure you hit level up and double up and helping those people that you sign up to do the same. And then silver. So again, the gap gets even bigger, 125 to 650 people. Um, and again, I have 320 people on my team, but I've been silver with 200 people on my team. I'm, I have way more um, organizational group volume than the average silver, right? So right now my volume is running <clears throat> between actually 18,000 and 20,000 because I'm going for bridge to gold. And so the a silver, and so people watching the replay, there'll be several people that are watching the replay that we got going for silver. We got Ryan going for silver this month, Yolanda going for silver, Dana going for silver. Um, Halua has the opportunity to hit silver. So we got a lot of people that are in this category. And this is where you can make on average about 2000 per month. So this is, this is the level where like most people can quit their part-time job here in the US. If they're in another country, usually they're working the business full time. So any questions on that guys? So I wanted to end this with a video that most everyone has already seen too if they saw this when they played it on the Monday Dose of Valor, but I just really loved this video because I thought it would be a great way to end with. And it's the video of the girl who, well, I'm not gonna tell you guys who haven't seen it. I'm just gonna share the video. But this, the first time I saw it, it made me cry because I am a former track runner. So I was like, oh my goodness. So I'm gonna play the video without telling you guys. The 600 meter underway, Heather Dornard in Minnesota finished second in this event a year ago. She was in lane four. And Dornan is probably going to be your favorite. She actually won the NCAA championships in 2006 in the 800, but she only won one Big Ten championship in the two years. Three laps. In this event, 600 meters, three times around the 200 meter track here at the field house. She's looking very confident, and the Penn State runner is just running amazing today. She did win her heat in the 400, but ended up taking fourth overall. That's Von Dorn moving into the lead, the sophomore from Penn State. Dorn had been running second. Dorn did last year score 23 points for the Golden Gophers in their Big Ten championship, so they're really relying on getting a lot of points from her this weekend, and she's just coming by Von Dorn now for the home stretch, heading into the Bell Rock. Dorn and falling down gets up quickly, but that's going to cost her. Lucky she wasn't injured. Her teammate just went to the front, though, so they may be able to recover from that. And Dornan is flying down the back stretch. She is, she is going to catch Von Dorn, and she may catch the leader. Wow. She's got a name on the This is a gutsy effort by Dornan. She's moving to So yeah, so I just wanted to end with that video because I wanted to be like, so if you felt like in August you fell down, that doesn't mean that it's over, right? Like you just get back up and you can still win the race. Like there's no time limit for hitting your, your goals, right? Like I was just thinking about, you know, I have a goal to like get diamond fairly quickly. I want to be platinum by February. I have four legs still. Like there's still a lot of good stuff going on in my team. And like, if I hit diamond in seven years or eight years or nine years, is it really gonna be a difference? Like, 
when you hit diamond, like people notice when people hit diamond in two years, right? But if you hit it in eight instead of seven, is it really, <laughs> is it really that big of a deal? So even if you fall down and you don't hit your goal one month, you just get back up and you could still win the race just like she did in that video. So I thought that would be a good thing to end with if you felt a little bit like you fell down last month. <laughs> And September is going to be amazing. September always goes up. It always trends up in the industry. October has a spike. November has a huge spike. So if you can just keep on pushing on like we saw in the first video, then you can definitely have an amazing end of the year and definitely win the race by the end of the year. All right, guys. Anything else? All right, everybody. So yeah, get, um, so this week, just, I mean, we don't have any team calls because there's actually the European convention and Dana and I are plugging into that. So we'll share any nuggets that we can with that. So really concentrate this week on like onboarding. We have a class on Tuesday, the 8th, that is going to be plants for wellness in English for immune support. And then on that Thursday, we're going to do the same one in Spanish. So really just concentrate on getting through Vita 180, plugging into any of the corporate stuff. For those of us that are trying to build in other countries, going on those websites, seeing what education they have, trying to get a schedule to dig into those things. And then starting on the 8th, we'll start all of our, all of our classes again. Like we usually have two or three per week and keep it going. Um, September 11th, we're going to have that home-based business chat with Brenda Schuler as our featured guest. <laughs> so we're going to have a Royal Crown Diamond that's going to start us off with her story on that. So that's going to be super amazing. Um, and then, you know, we all like, we're still trying to get those oils. I've, I've already got my 24 points, so I got my oils. And then I'm, once every rank up hits, at next month, I'll be definitely like at, I think, 47. So I've got all my oils, and now I'm trying to get on one of the, on the board for a trip. So that's still all on the board for September. So helping people rank up and hit Silverbound is the way to get the most amount of points. All right, guys. Have a good evening. See you guys later. Thanks a lot. Bye. Good night.